In this video, we'll be taking the latest AI technology breakthroughs from the Claude 3.7 Sonnet model so that we can build a technical analysis AI agent that uses the AI vision capabilities to take a technical analysis chart such as this and do detailed analysis that provides things like key price point analysis, volume analysis, bullish and bearish scenarios. We'll also be able to couple the technical analysis with fundamental analysis using the perplexity internet search with DeepSeek R1 reasoning. We'll be able to produce detailed analysis with up-to-date information on the broader market conditions. Additionally, this research is backed by fully citated sources. Lastly, in this workflow, we'll also be able to send a report at the end of this chat to an email address that details exactly all the analysis that the AI has done on our behalf. All right, let's see this workflow in action. So I'm going to ask it to do a detailed analysis, technical analysis for Bitcoin. So it's going to start uh, by this technical analyst uh, leader will uh, work with the Sonnet 3.7 model, and it's going to uh, call into this technical analysis tool, which then goes into this workflow here. So this workflow will start executing. It's going to look up the exchange that corresponds to this symbol. And in this case, it's going to return uh, with uh, Binance as the exchange. Then we're going to download the trading view chart. And then we're going to then use the AI vision capabilities to take a look at the chart and then do a technical analysis of the chart. So we're going to go into here and then return the results. And now the technical analyst leader will take the results from this tool and then start synthesizing and produce a report. So it's come back and now you see a detailed report with price trend analysis. So it's giving you some context in terms of Bitcoin uh, in early 2025, the price it reached. And then it gives you further details on what's been happening recently. And then it's taking, it's giving you a view of the chart that it's analyzing. And then it provides more details in terms of the rel relative strength indicator. So there's uh, analysis here of the chart, as well as directional movement index and further analysis on that. It's done volume analysis, and then it's given you support and resistance levels as well, as well as key resistance points, and then the trading outlook. And then it's giving you a long-term perspective as well as a, uh, a conclusion from this. Before we continue the video, if you're enjoying the content, please consider joining our community today. As a supporter, you get early video access, priority replies, and exclusive posts and shorts. Community champions also receive additional benefits. So please hit the join button below and be part of our journey. Now back to our video. So that's a great starting point, but what if I want to do more in-depth analysis? I want to see what's happening in the market overall. All right, so I'm going to ask it, please do research on fundamental analysis and broader market context to help better inform a trading strategy for Bitcoin. So again, it's going to start uh, with this technical analysis leader, and it's now going to be using this perplexity tool. So perplexity tool will hit this tool here and call the perplexity API. And this API is using the uh, sonar reasoning model that uh, allows us to have deep reasoning about the search results that come through. And then so it's going to return that response, and then the technical analysis leader will integrate that result back in. So it's realized that it needs to have further information from the internet through perplexity. And now it's calling this tool again and uh, iterating through that. So this tool will also include citations. So all the sources will produce uh, highly cited information so that you can go back and verify the information is correct. So there's a, a built-in uh, fact checking as part of its analysis. So we'll wait for one more moment and look at the report. All right, the report is finished, and let's dive into what it's wrote. So through its research, it's uh, looked at fundamental drivers. So it talks about institutional adoption and talks about the regulatory environment for this. And notice these, uh, these side notes here. These are references to the citation uh, below in the report. And then it's talking about uh, supply and demand dynamics, including some interesting uh, dynamics in terms of post having impact, and then uh, market sentiment analysis, bullish signals, bearish signals, and then based on uh, both the technical analysis and now the fundamental analysis, it's going to recommend 
trading strategy recommendations. So there's some uh, recommendations here for uh, short term, long term, medium term, and then some risk uh, management considerations. Additionally, as you scroll down to the bottom of the report, you can see all the references that it's used to generate the uh, information from the report. So there's a traceability and verifiability that uh, is important that it provides. All right, so now let's take the next level of detail and go node by node. All right, so we're going to start with this AI agent node. So this is a standard AI agent node that uh, we can customize. So if you go into the uh, system message, this is how we are uh, prompting this uh, technical analysis agent. We're giving it uh, general capabilities. Uh, we're telling it uh, what to do when we email, uh, how to do the technical analysis in terms of making sure that um, the graph URL that comes back, uh, that it's uh, displayed properly. And then we also give it uh, some instructions on citation requirements. You know, How do we want the references uh, to be displayed and, uh, and, and formatted? So uh, this is um, all the information that we use uh, to prompt our technical analysis leader. So th this is uh, the node, if you go to AI agent node, uh, it's from it's from here and I, this is just customization of it. So now uh, we are using this uh, open router node. Uh, so open router is a service uh, that uh, provides uh, just one key that you're able to then uh, unlock all the different kinds of large language models. So we're using that as a really convenient way to access the uh, Claude 3.7 Sonnet model. So we're using that. This is the latest and greatest uh, with uh, the, the best in class in terms of uh, in terms of some of the abilities that we're, we're using. So then uh, we have uh, the technical analysis tool. So we can open that up. So the technical analysis tool, this is actually using uh, this uh, tool called uh, call NA10 workflow. So we're using this tool and customizing this. So this tool is, uh, we give it a name and then we give it a description. So this is uh, this tool is useful for technical analysis of a stock. And then what we do here is uh, we uh, give it workflow inputs. All right, so this workflow inputs is basically how we communicate uh, to this node here. So if we open up this node, it's gonna uh, have uh, two inputs in the workflow, a uh, message parameter and it's a string type and uh, a agent uh, parameter, and that's not a string type. So the agent parameter will tell it uh, which which path to go down, right? So is it uh, is it is it this path here of the technical analysis tool, or is it this path here for perplexity internet search with uh, R1 reasoning, right? So for the technical analysis tool, we set the uh, agent parameter to technical so that it knows, and then the message uh, we just uh, stated here that uh, we we want it to be defined by the AI. Right? So by the model, it's going to uh, pass in the message. So in this case, we've told it that the message will be the stock ticker. Right. So which stock to uh, to analyze. Uh, so it's going to go through this path, and then this uh, switch uh, is telling it, uh, you know, if the agent is technical, then it's going to go through one path. If it's uh, set to perplexity, it's going to go down to this path. All right. So let's take the top path. So the top path, uh, the first thing we do is. Uh, we do a lookup exchange, right? Look up the exchange of the ticker. So this node here is basically uh, just uh, what's called a uh, basic LLM chain. So it's just one direct call to a large language model. And in this case, we're using uh, the perplexity sonar model. So this uh, sonar model has access to uh, the internet. So you're able to do a online search. So in this case, what we're saying is, uh, you know, please look up in the trading view exchange for the following symbol, and then uh, only output uh, the exchange as uh, the output for this node, right? And then we're doing the structured output parser. So all this is doing is that it's telling it exactly how to output uh, the, the string. So all, all I want is you know a, uh, a string that has the exchange, right? I don't want any other information. So this gives me the ability to specify exactly what I want. So this uh, next node then is uh, uh, going to this trading view chart. So this trading view chart is um, a, a instance of this HTTP node. HTTP node, so HTTP requests, uh, and then customized, right? So this customization is uh, using this chartimage.com. So this chartimage.com here is where I can get a free API key and then uh, get images uh, based on trading view that I can uh, pass into uh, the large language model uh, vision abilities, right? So um, I, I have that set, and so this will download it. And then uh, from, from this download, I'm, I'm going to uh, then 
uh, actually download it. So I, I generate it from here and then I download it. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, be able to, um, uh, to analyze it. So uh, there's a prompt here for this analysis. So it's talking about this expert financial analyst and then uh, you know, some details on how the analysis should be done. So there's uh, quite a lot of uh, information here uh, that are specific to a uh, technical analysis uh, workflow. So we do that. And then uh, from, from here, we're going to uh, move to uh, return the response value, right? So in this response value, uh, we're going to then go back to the technical analyst uh, leader, and then uh, he's going to be able to integrate that into this uh, answer. Now, if I go down to the second path, right, is the perplexity tool. So this perplexity tool, once again, is uh, from uh, this uh, call N in 10 uh, workflow tool, so here. So I take an instance of that and then I customize it. I tell it that this is useful for internet research and then uh, it can also be used for fundamental analysis of a stock based on the most information from the internet, right? So uh, this is what I do. And then uh, similar to the previous uh, tool, I uh, set the two workflow uh, input parameters of message and uh, agent. So agent I'm telling it uh, is perplexity. So what happens is that when this is called, it's going to go hit here and then it's going to say, oh, the agent uh, message is set to perplexity and it's going to route it down this path. So uh, then what it's going to do when it gets routed down this path is the first thing it's going to hit is this uh, perplexity uh, API. So this perplexity API is using this, uh, uh, this model called sonar reasoning, right? So sonar reasoning is uh, using the latest uh, DeepSeek R1 uh, applied to um, uh, applied to online searches, right? So this is how Perplexity offers this ability to do your internet search, but uh, doing it in a way that's super intelligent, right? So we use this node uh, to to uh, provide that internet internet research, and then this node here uh, it returns not only the message, uh, the the answer, but also the citations. So, so we extract out the citations, and that's how we're able to uh, get that information uh, back into the technical analysis agent who will then synthesize this and then uh, produce this detailed report. Lastly, uh, the third functionality is uh, being able to email. So this node here is, uh, if you go to tools here and expand on that, you go to Gmail. So this is a node that you can just get from here. And uh, what, I, what I do here is, uh, is, is very straightforward. Uh, all, of, all of these fields here are, uh, defined by the model. So uh, you can just go hit this button here and let the model figure out who to send it to based on the chat, uh, what the subject is based on the chat, and then also what the message is based on the chat. So very, very powerful. Um, so that's it. That's the, the whole workflow in a nutshell. So not too many notes, but super, super powerful.